The Hitlers. Sounds like the worst sitcom. The surname Hitler has never really gone away. In fact, as of 2014, the name Hitler still appears throughout the world, with it being recorded 111 times in Brazil, which is interesting. Yet none of these Hitlers relate to the most infamous Hitler, Adolf Hitler. The surname Hitler derives as a spelling variation of the surname Hitler, which means someone who lives by a Hedel, some kind of subterranean river. Before Adolf was born, the surname was used pretty interchangeably within the family with other spellings of the name such as Hitler, 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 and Hitler. Hitler's father was born Alois Schickelgruber, taking his mother's surname as the true identity of his paternal father is still up for debate. But who his real father is doesn't matter to me as this is my show, not Jerry Springer's. In 1877, Alois changed his surname to Hitler after his father, Johann Hitler, and so the name as we know it was born. Hitler himself didn't have any children, well, probably didn't, so to find out if the name lives on, we'll have to look to one of his many siblings. Hitler's father was married two times, well, three times, but the first marriage was childless, so who cares, which led to Hitler having seven siblings, two half and five full. From his father's second marriage, the first with kids, came Hitler's half-siblings Alois Jr. and Angela Hitler, and from his last marriage, the one with Hitler's mother Clara, came Gustav, Ida, Otto, Adolf himself, Edmund and Paula. The Hitler name stops on this side as Gustav, Ida, Otto and Edmund all died in childhood, and Adolf didn't have any children as mentioned earlier. Paula's story is something of more interest. She was Hitler's only full sibling to reach adulthood. When Hitler rose to fame, he demanded she change her surname to Wolf, Adolf's nickname, so she could maintain a low profile. She never married or had children and died in 1960. Despite her surname change to Wolf, she's the only immediate family member of Adolf's to be buried with the name Hitler on her headstone. This means if there's any chance of the name surviving, it will come down to Adolf's half-siblings, Alois Jr. and Angela Hitler. Angela had three children from her first marriage, Leo, Jelly and Ethelred, with Leo and Ethelred going on to have sons of their own, Peter and Heine, who are both alive today. However, as they descend from Angela Hitler, and Angela being well, a woman, tradition meant that she would take her groom's name, his name being Leo Rubel, meaning Angela Hitler became Angela Rubel, as did her children and her grandchildren, mostly. So yes, these are Hitlers, but in biology only and not in name. This leaves the entire Hitler name in the hands of Hitler's half-brother, Alois Jr. Hitler. No pressure there. Being a man, this means that traditionally his kids would have his surname, and they did. He had two sons from two wives, William Hitler and Heinz Hitler. Heinz during World War II became devoted to his uncle's ideology, serving on the Eastern Front for the Nazis and was tortured to death in a Russian military prison at the tender age of 21 with no children. William Hitler didn't follow the path of his younger half-brother. Born in Liverpool to an Irish mother, A. Lewis Jr. left his son to go on a gambling tour of Europe, father of the year candidate right here, leaving William in his mother's care. When his uncle rose to power, William decided to go to Germany in hopes his connections with Adolf would land him a good job. After working at a bank, factory and car dealership, it's safe to say this didn't pan out for William. Eventually emigrating to the States, William joined the US Navy by seeking a special request from President Roosevelt. By 1947, William was discharged from the Navy due to being wounded in action. He settled in Long Island, got married, had four sons, Alexander, Lewis, Howard and Brian, and eventually passed away in 1987. While his son Howard passed away in a car accident in 1989, his three other sons are still alive today, and logically, coming from a male relative, Adolf makes all these relatives Hitlers. Except for the fact that William Hitler changed his name to William Stuart Houston after leaving the Navy, making his sons Stuart Houstons, not Hitlers. I should have mentioned that earlier. This leaves us with five living relatives of Adolf Hitler. Peter Rolbel and Heine Hoschegger, the grandchildren of Angela Hitler, Adolf's half-sister, and Alexander, Lewis, and Brian Stuart Houston, the grandchildren of A. Lewis Jr. Hitler, Adolf's half-brother. None of these five men have ever married or had children. It was said the Stuart Houston brothers signed a pact, but that wasn't the case. It was just a mutual agreement to purposely kill the Hitler bloodline that they were left in charge of. This means that the Hitler name is dead, and within our lifetimes, the bloodline will be too. This childless, unwedded life is the life the Stuart Houstons felt obliged to lead due to the horrendous actions of a relative that they had no control over way before they were even born.